This is going on Swap's channel. <laughs> yeah, we got D. Um, Brooks in the down, Regal. Man. In the Come Regal, on, baby. We got D. Brooks in the Regal. What's happening? We just see what he got going down. Yeah, swaps and stuff, reels, big as monster trucks, wide harnesses, yeah, boy, we stock them up, hit subscribe so you know you stay in the loop, hit the bell, new videos coming soon. Yeah, swaps and stuff, reels, big as monster trucks, wide harnesses, yeah, boy, we stock them up, hit subscribe so you know you stay in the loop, hit the bell, new videos. Yeah, we got D um, Brooks in the Regal. Down, in the Regal, baby. We got D Brooks in the Regal. What's happening? We just we'll see what he got going down. Don't but it's not started in a while. It's been a while. You know, it's just been a few. I mean, it starts right up. We got fuel pressure. Yes, you got fuel pressure. I think it's going to go then. Tubes is talking. This sloppy stage two. Sloppy stage two. Chopping it up. No old two sensors. No right old two sensors right now, and it wasn't loading up, so that's good. You know, yeah, I wasn't smelling no fuel. When I put those old two sensors in, that's when my shit because we don't have no exhaust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because it's it's reading on the oxygen that is pulling in as it. Yeah. Yes. And I think we had talked about that on the phone. Yep. And I was scratching my head on it, trying to figure it out. I mean, if you were able to grab you. Some twelve inch pieces or something just to slap on there and make you know, but you've all you've got the granddaddy yeah, we've committed. Uh, right there on the turbo log. And Decisions were made. <laughs> so he's going turbo with this dude. And it's yes, it's it's definitely gonna be a fun car to drive. What do you estimate the weight at? Thirty eight? I don't have a clue. Huh? It it don't matter. It's yeah. gonna be fun. It's yeah. gonna be fun. Uh and Definitely. What size injectors you have in it right now? Uh, stock LS1, LS6 injectors. So maybe um, 32, we're gonna 38. Get Becca, we're doing the um, 80 pound uh, snake eater. Snake eater 80s. That's what, and that is exactly what Blanco has in it. The yeah. snake eater 80 pound, and uh, and they and they're working. They're working. They're working. So. You know, I wanted to get a set of uh, the 12 or the 15s for myself, but, you know, all that's got to wait. You yes, know, yeah. all that's got to wait. I see that the wires are pretty, we got good clearance on the wires there. I was able to, on the log, believe it or not, I was able to use the stock spark plug wires. Oh, word. You know, and they're not hitting. Okay. That's good to know. For they're not hitting. For future decision making skills. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If we do one turbo successfully, just like we do LS swaps, we may do more turbos. More turbos successfully, yes. So. Yes, 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 yes. It's just yeah. definitely a lot more to add. What trans you got in there? 480. 80 and converter. Right now, we still have the old snowmobile uh, stalker in there. Stalker in there, which, you know, is a little higher stall than what you have in a. 4L60 anyway. Uh, you're not hauling, you're not going to be lugging around a big heavy truck, so it should help you, I would okay. think. I would think. Uh, as a matter of fact, my first converter that I have, I used in an 80 come from a diesel truck. And okay. and that was with, what, what from cam? Ah, I can't remember what cam. I just made it work. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't even trying to do, do too much. Uh, that converter. Oh, that was my my C10. The okay. the recipe. The recipe. That was the ADE with a converter out of a out of a diesel truck. Cause they say that those stall higher, so that's the route we went. And 
then uh, on this one, I do have a little trickery here on the water pump. This is a 2010 LS3 water pump. Yes, remember yeah. the conversation. Yeah, that's the two, no spacers, uh, just bolts it, right it up. Works. It, it works. It bolts right up. Yep, so um, there's you, you have many options you can go with. You know, you can go with the LS1. Yes. If you want to put the spacers. If you if you want to if you want to get rid of this too, you can put. Remember, they got the one the spacers. I've seen people yep. drill and tap. Drill and tap the spacers. Put that in there. Some radiators give you a provision, like somewhere in there. Okay. You know where you can run that steam vent to. Some okay. radiators do. And these things, these from what I'm starting to understand now, these engines they just want to go. Like, yeah. you can have things all the way backwards, and this thing will run. Run, yes. And you're like, oh, shit, I had, like, yeah. this all the way backwards. And they're and, still. And it'll perform better after you fix, you know, once yes. you fix it. It's like, man, I thought it was doing well. Now it's doing really well. So um, there's still a lot to learn for me. Um, we're going to go up an injector size. We're going to do the turbo. i got to figure out the PVC system. I, I don't even have it set up yet, really. Um, if you're PVC turbo, don't worry about it. No, you're going to, you're going to want to vent. You're going to want to see, you know, it's going to have some blow by. Okay. So therefore you're going to want to either put that in the catch can or vent to atmosphere. So right now, this is right now you're vent to atmosphere. And then that one over there is going back into that's the going back into the intake. So, you know, it under boost, you know, are you, are you, are you, is boost going to push this? It's going to push. To. Right. You see what I'm saying? Is that going to happen? Yeah. Or are you just going to plug that off and come over here, off, come off of that with, to a catch can or to atmosphere, whichever, <clears throat> and, and go that route? Hmm. Catch cans look cool. They, they do look cool. <laughs> they call, and they cost money. Of course, you can probably make one out of something and, and make it work. But... Um, we just got to remember to check it because some people forget to check it, you know, because it be full of oil, be full of oil, man. But yeah, this thing is the first build, you know, that I've ever done with the LS, um, you know, a swap, I guess my first swap, I mm -hmm. put a cam in my G8, um, but from start to finish, man, 307 pulled out, drove this bad boy home, paid a thousand bucks for it, drove it home. And uh, got on YouTube, man. So, there it is. You know, there it like, is. There it is. <laughs> YouTube, baby. Yeah. Uh, I, I I I get the YouTube mechanic notification quite a bit from other people in my family. They'll okay. send it. They'll send it to me, and they'll say the YouTube mechanic. I don't know what they're trying to say. Yeah, I mean, but oh well. <laughs> it's working. And this is stand up. This is a uh, reworked factory harness. So. Yeah. They can look good. They can look good. Most of ones I've done has been reworked factory harnesses, and they're time consuming to make them look the way you want them to look, you know. Uh, but at the same time, it's just all in what an individual wants, you right. know. You know, I've, you've, you've seen them come over here in the stock location where nothing's been touched. You've seen them wires laying everywhere. You've seen, you know, it's just all in what they how you want to do it. You know, whether there's wires showing or not, it's running. It's getting them to and from, and it's their project. Why should I even have anything to say about it? It's right. working. And then the engine bay will be what you see here. And yeah. I went crazy on the grounding system. Y'all yeah. just that, that is the you know these motors love the ground. Yeah. Because what is it? They work on the ground. You know, that just what everything's hot and it has to see a ground for it to work. Yeah. So these, this, you know, having a ground is so important. Yes, sir. But yeah, this is all, this is a conduit money bill. This is where conduit money came from. <laughs> That's what this is. Uh, I like it. I definitely like it. I've been following it uh, for a long, 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 long time. Long time. I can't remember when I, I don't know. I've been following it for a while and, I said, well, shoot, man, I'm going I'm to check this one out because, uh, and all of them are different, yeah. but all of them possibly the same, just like what you were saying over here, the difference in the, what's this, a D body? D body, yep. Versus the G body. Yep. The things that needs, you know, that won't apply here, that will apply there, or will apply here, that will apply there. So, you know, they're different, but they're the same. 
lot of carryover, but a lot of weird differences. Differences. Like, like the gas pedal. Yes. The accelerator cable I was telling you about. It's going to be a little bit of a thought process because it's just a little different. But um, cable trans, not cable trans, but vacuum trans. Vacuum trans, trans, yeah. It's different, so. The more you learn, the better you are, man. Yes, 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 yes. But this, of course, is not a car that you would see be out doing donuts in parking lots. Not you yet. know, not yet. Maybe he <laughs> sees, he might see this this turbo build. And he might say, "Man, I got all kind of real estate." Yeah, but he got the real estate. It's just so nice, man. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd pull up in this and watch someone else do donuts. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I said, and I'll be far away too. I said, don't hit my vehicle, man. Man, I hope it. You know, I hope he enjoys the car, and uh, you know, he likes it. You know, it would be cool to see a, you know, like a Cadillac Master. You know, like Dunk Master. Yeah. And yes. you know, but who knows? You know, we're just starting off with a five three. It could get, it get crazy. Who knows mm -hmm. where he's gonna go? He might fall in love with it. But we're just going. With, he just wanted fuel injection. Yes. That's. Yes, yes, yes. So again, it's a very good looking, very good looking build, man. Very good looking building. And you, once man. he gets in there and hits the keys, he's not having there sitting there smacking that gas pedal. Just get it started and you know, put it on the road, get him some nice trips behind him. He'd be like, Man, this is the best decision I made. Yeah, fuel injections. Best Before decision I made. Road. And and just about any part that you need is at your local at a, a, a parts store, you know? It's not like you've gotten one off parts and you have to wait on it. Yeah, that, that engine he had was completely random. Yes, you know? because of the year. Yep, the yep. year, and that's a Cadillac engine, right? Mm -hmm. It's not even an old engine. It's a 452 or something. <sighs> yeah, so I need to find parts for that. Good luck. <laughs> and then my water pump went out. I'm in the middle of, like, Steubenville, Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a three-day wait. Yeah, you're going to be sitting for a minute, brother. <laughs> what? Yeah. So, yeah, you know, he's not. you shouldn't have these problems. Not saying that that would be the issue, but it's, that's, that is the plus about going, upgrading, is 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 parts is, is readily available available at some of these places. You know, alternator, you know, power steering pump, water pump, you know, those things, sensors. Yeah, get you back on the road. Yeah, yes, get you back on the road. Are those shorties or are those long tubes? Uh, shorties. shorties. S10 yeah. shorties. S10 shorties. They clear very nicely. What degree plugs? Do you make them plugs or they come that way? 45 degree. Um, just the ones off eBay. 45 degree? Yeah, okay. Just 45 degrees. Gotcha. You know, it, it's about trying to put a tune in and keep it safe. Right. You know, I would think. You know, you, you don't want to go out there and... You know, oh, it'll make 790, but then you're not gonna. I wouldn't turn this guy loose with a 790, you know, horsepower car. I'd say we're gonna dial it back to five, six, and then you know what I mean, <laughs> and then go from there. He said, he says, I don't want to do that. I want, I want to dial it back. We know that it makes the horsepower, but let's dial it back. Let's dial it back. The, uh, the amount of power you can make in these old Gen 3s is just, it's amazing. Yeah. Very, 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 very impressive. Big bad, better fill it up. I don't never take a day off. Five, five, yeah, kill it up. Hard work, yeah, pay off.